Well, how much do you know about Namibia? Well, recently a trade mission from the United States visited the Southern African nation to explore investment opportunities. Now, leading the mission was Martin Anjaba, the Namibian ambassador to the U.S. Ambassador Anjaba joins us today to tell us more about that mission and his country. Ambassador Anjaba, welcome to Africa 54. We are very happy to have you here with us. Yes. Thank you for the opportunity to appear on your program. Yes. Now, first, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about uh, uh, the trade mission, uh, how significant that is to you, to your country. Let me first um, inform you and the rest of the audience that the Embassy of Namibia in Washington, D.C. organizes annual trade missions to Namibia. Mm -hmm. And we, in fact, are in the process of now planning a return trade, trade mission from Namibia to the U.S. That's interesting. So this is important because <clears throat> we introduce Namibia to the business community in the U.S., and vice versa. It's important because when we take business people to Namibia, we have them interact with our leaders, government officials, and their counterparts in the business community in Namibia. When they get the information about the opportunities that are available for investment and partnership, then they have their own direct discussions and with now, Namibian counterparts. And talking about opportunities, you know, many people have to say, don't talk about Namibia all the time, or even don't know much about Namibia. What are some of the investment opportunities you can kind of bring to the fore that people could get to know about? We have opportunities in various sectors. Um, I'll, I can start with the energy sector, and you probably may know that we will soon be facing a problem with the energy um, supplies in, in Namibia, but also in the region as a whole. Uh, we are looking at the possibilities for, for alternative sources of energy, solar energy, for solar example. Cover, big desert at in, the Indeed, and, yeah. and wind. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, all along the coast of Namibia, yeah. we have very, very good opportunities for, for wind. Um, now, but we also have opportunities in other sectors, mm -hmm. in the mining sector, uh, we have, where we have a lot of resources, yeah. uh, ranging from diamonds to uranium to copper, gold, and so on and other sectors as well. Now, Ambassador Najaba, you know, all African countries are always trying to woo investors. The biggest question always in the mind of investors is, why would I go to Namibia? What are some of the favorable conditions that you think would make Namibia a place where somebody wants to go and invest in? We have stability in Namibia. We have peace. And we have also the, the climate that we have created for investment. We have laws in place that will protect foreign investors. We also a law abiding citizen. And uh, I think we have the conditions for foreign investment. We have infrastructure that is first class. Uh, and in fact, we are positioning ourselves as a logistics hub for the region of Southern Africa because of the infrastructure that we have, the road network, the rail network, the telecommunications and the hub of Office Bay. You know, this is a sad part because people never get to know about these things, yeah? Because there's no trouble, <laughs> there's no chaos. <laughs> so we don't get to know about all the great things about Namibia. But you know, also in the recent past, people have been uh, very interested in how China is coming into play here. Uh, it is a major and kind of a player now in the geopolitics of Africa. How has that impacted the flow, particularly of Western investors into Namibia? Well, uh, it's true China has uh, invested or is investing a lot uh, in Namibia, but also in Africa in general. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think this has impacted negatively on Western investment uh, in, in, in Namibia because we are open and free for investment. We invite everybody to come in uh, and, and compete with the Chinese. Mm -hmm. uh, moreover, the Chinese are all over the world. But no, so, you don't give them monopoly, right? <laughs> of course not. Yeah. Everybody will come in and, and participate on equal footing. Yeah. Uh, we, of course, do not uh, expect to have conditions and conditionalities imposed on us. Which come many times from the West. Yes, sometimes they come, but uh, everybody <laughs> who comes, we have to agree yeah. with okay. them. As a sovereign state. Right? As a sovereign state. Now, question, you know, many citizens of African countries are very kind of worried about in foreign investment. They say citizens many times do not benefit fully from the foreign investment. 
politicians may, might gain, but not the citizens. What are you doing as a country uh, to ensure that whatever is being brought in is actually going into the communities and helping develop your nation and benefit your people? Well, we have a program of empowerment, mm -hmm. which, which was uh, implemented after independence, whereby the previously disadvantaged Namibians also get the opportunity to participate in the exploitation of the natural resources of the country. So when we talk about uh, foreign investment, and at the beginning I mentioned about partnership. We emphasize on partnership because we want Namibians to participate. Whoever is coming in to invest in the country should also involve local people. Uh, that will help us to create jobs. It will help us also to, to, to have our people benefit from the resources of the country. Mm -hmm. so, so we have these programs and we make sure that Namibians get the licenses, for example, in the mining sector for exploration and for mining. So whoever is coming in now will have to negotiate with the Namibians and see how, in terms of percentage, they, they can form this partnership. And this is what the main, one of the main reasons why we encourage investors to come to Namibia to look at those opportunities. Yeah. And, uh, and perhaps Namibia needs to do something to make sure that people hear more about Namibia, talk more about Namibia, and just know that there are some African countries quietly sitting somewhere peacefully and developing. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ambassador, for joining us today. Thank you very much for the yeah. opportunity. It was a delight. Well, Martin Anjaba is the Namibian ambassador to the United States.